what's going on everybody so let's talk about my second favorite fighter Jamal Charlo Jamal just recently said that he's not fighting Boo Boo Andrade because Boo Boo not well known and he's not fighting David Benavidez because he's not super middleweight he's not moving up to 168 but I think this all boils down to Jamel Charlo and what Andrade did when he pulled out the fight a week before the fight and left Jamel hanging with all them bills and stuff like that. He had to pay the spine, par spine partners, the trainer, the other spine partners that came in, the people in <clears throat> who set up everything. So um, what you think? I think loyalty for his Jamal loyalty for his brother is going to outweigh fighting Andrade and us hardcore fans. And that's what it's going to boil down to. His loyalty for his brother. His brother keep telling him, do not fight him. I don't want you to fight him. Fuck him. So that's what it is. And that's what it's going to, that's what it's going to be. So um, I think we need to start climbing for it, even though we want to see it. But he was right about one thing. The um, the casual fans don't even really know um who Andrade is. Us hardcore fans know who he is. You know we want to see him fight because we know it'll be a good fight. But the casual fans don't know who the hell he is. So um, he's not gonna fight him. And I'm sitting here thinking he's really not gonna fight him. So we need to just move on about that. And Ron Shield said it. Um like six months ago when he was interviewed he told the whole story what happened how Jamel trained and all this stuff and one week and Jordan decided to pull out and he said both of the brothers was pissed off and um I'm not saying it's right or wrong but it is what it is loyalty to your brother simple as that fuck us fans and that's how they current it you know Ron and Shield said I'm telling you now, Jamal will never fight Boo Boo Andre. And um, I believe him. And, you know, Jamal is my second favorite fighter. So, um, hey, it is what it is, man. I'm not going to keep pressing the issue, you know. I, I'm just a, a fan, man. You know, want to see the best fights out there. Hardcore guy that just want to see the best fights. You know, I go to the fights. I travel and all that. But, hey, my my loyalty to my family probably would be the same thing. You know what I mean? You cost my brother all this money. But in the other, in another way, if I was Jamal, it would make me want to whoop your ass the way you talk, this, talk all that shit and talk about my brother. But... They despise this guy so much. And Jamel said, it's just a money grab. Boo Boo Andrade is broke. He's desperate. The zone ain't giving him no money after he pay all his 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 fees to his training and nutritionist and all that stuff. He, he, he ain't got him about $50 left <laughs> after the fight. So, you know, Jamel, man, he wild as hell, man. But, um... I don't know, man, but if he don't fight them too, what's next? He tried to fight Canelo. You no, know, became find out that um Canelo found out that they WBMC um, was making that franchise belt, and he just waited and waited and got that franchise belt. So he's not going to fight Jamal no time soon. Maybe next year, sometime. Maybe the end of next year if he do fight him, or he moving up. To 170, but I don't think he's gonna move up to 175. I think he's gonna stay at um, 168 and uh, fight, fight the keep. Maybe he might fight the limbs of the world again. You know what I mean? But only way Canelo gonna fight Jamal Shallow if his fans start saying it's time for you to fight this guy. Stop saying you're not gonna fight no Mexican. You know what I mean? Stop. Avoiding some of these black fighters that people saying you're avoiding. And it's time for Canelo Alvarez to step up to the plate and fight 
Jamal Shalo, David Benavidez. It, it's that time. If you don't fight him this year, okay. Next year, you still, y'all. But we're not waiting no more. Cinema, that's it. We're not waiting no more. So if Jamal not going to fight Canelo, okay. We got little G, Triple G. Triple G only has two more fights left. He's on his last leg, man. And um, Triple G is trying to fight Murata in Japan. And then, not just that, they say they're going to wait to December to fight. Now, that's when the WBA need to get involved. WBA need to get this shit together, man. All these belts they got. You're talking about WBC. All these belts that WBA got, man. The shit is just starting to be ridiculous. But just like they took strip Manny Pacquiao for inactivity, WBA need to get some balls and tell Triple G that you got you got to fight um, Jamal Shalo will be stripping you from the belt. You're not going to be sitting there holding the belt hostage until December, you know what I mean, to fight uh, Mariotta. And um, when um, Thurman was hurt, you know, they gave him a chance, but Thurman kept getting hurt. They took the belt from him. You know what I mean? So the WBC took the belt from him. So why the WBA can't do the same thing? It's time for the WBA to step up to the plate, man. Who in the hell want to wait? We barely want to see Triple G fight now. So who in the hell want to wait to DC him to see him fight a fight that don't nobody want to see him fight? So he picking and choosing. Who are you going to fight and shit like that, man? See, this this is the reason boxing is getting fucked up, man. People picking and choosing when they fight, who they fight, and stuff like that. And they holding these belts hostage. And these um, organizations, they, they not they not um, pushing forward like they should. Only one really do their job is the IBF. The IBF don't play that shit. You know what I mean? You fighting, you fighting your mandatory. You're not going to sit and hold that belt for two years. We're going to take that belt and, and get your ass up out of here. You know what I mean? But the WBC and WBA, man, they they, they, they be bullshitting, man. So, I don't know, man, because um, we all know Mariana. Mariotta not going to fight um, Jamal Shalo. Triple G ain't going to fight him. Canelo ain't fighting him. He not fighting Boo Boo Andre. You know, he fighting Martel, Martel this um, in June. You know, I understand. It's a get-back fight. But, you know, people on his ass about that. So, if he not going to fight all these fighters, who who's next? Who's next? Who Who is Jamal Shalo going to fight next if he's not going to fight all these fighters? You know what I mean? We can sit back and guess and shit like that, but, you know, he got to fight better competition now or step up the 168 where the competition is at, man. He say he won, he not a 168 pounder, but you walk around almost 200. 190, 190. Well, you don't walk around because you stay in shape, but you can get all the way up to 190 and 200 pounds. You know, I understand you want to clean out in the division, but if they don't want to fight him, what you going to do? Just going to sit there and marinate? No. You want to show your mansion and shit like that, but your mansion <laughs> can't pay them bills all the time, man. You got to get better fights, man. You know, you see your brother unifying, but he in a better division. 54 got all the lions and tigers and bears down there, you know. They got all the killers at 54, but 60, man, I don't know. I don't even consider Canelo a 60-pounder no more, so you're going to have to go up to 68 to fight him. He always said he not going back down to 160. Man, I tell you, this this stuff is getting screwed up, man. Ain't too much you can say. So time is running out, though. What's, what's Shiloh? Shiloh uh, 31 now, right? Yeah, he's 31 years old. Come on, Shiloh. We got to do something. After we beat the shit out of this dude, Montel, who's next? That's all I need to know. Who's next after we beat the shit out of him and... We're going to take it from there, man. So, you know, rebuttal entertainment. Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Come on, Shiloh. You can do it, man. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. You know I got